Put it in your mind right now. Who do you think is the most anticipated summer concert of 2019? A lot of big concerts out there, all over the place. You know, not just this is not just a Long Island specific thing, but everywhere. Like, who do you think is number one on the list? I will say, out of this top ten list, one of the uh, artists, one of the artists surprised me. One of the artists completely shocked completely shocked that they are so in demand 90s act so shocked that they are so in demand that they cracked this top 10 list uh from wehm.com StubHub has announced their list of the most in demand shows scheduled between memorial day and labor day so out of all i don't know how they get the maybe who who's bought tickets already or how many tickets I would guess it's not tickets that are listed. I would guess it's how many tickets have been purchased so far. And that's what it is, right? So number one on the list, no surprise, Rolling Stones, right? Rolling Stones, most anticipated concert 2019. That's not shocking anybody. Number two is Queen and Adam Lambert. Again, no surprise. Bohemian Rhapsody, the film, everything, a lot of buzz there. Massive. Paul McCartney at number three, for all the people that are like, oh, Paul McCartney. Number three on the list, most anticipated. Ariana, and then we go through a lot of uh, a lot of pop. Ariana Grande is at four. Sean Mendez at five. I mentioned this the other day on the morning show because I know she's a big deal, even though she's young and early to the game. But I'm still surprised she's this big. Billie Eilish at number six. Um, now I spun Billie Eilish super early on here at EHM on a cover story once. And I remember people writing me like, wow, this Billie Eilish is good. And I was like, wow, okay. She, you know, I like, I like the song. I like the cover, like some of her stuff, but she is again, I forget what festival we were talking about, but she's headlining. And she, I was like, wow, that's pretty fast for her to be headlining. Billie Eilish, huge number six on the list. Most anticipated concerts for 2019. Jojo Siwa. I don't even know who that is. I don't know if that's a, a dude, a girl, a group, a hip hop artist, a country. Me- I don't know what Jojo Siwa is. No clue. Not an I No idea. 21 Pilots at number eight. Florida Georgia Line is number 10. The surprising one for me. Number nine. Hootie and the Blowfish. Hootie and the Blowfish in at number nine. Excuse me. Hey, what's happening? Are you Hootie? No, I am not Hootie. (laughs) That's one of my favorite moments from uh, Jerry Maguire. When the kid goes up to Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character and he's like, are you Hootie? Uh, Yeah. Number nine. I'm surprised. Like, I know Hootie and the Blowfish and I know the 90s nostalgia thing is really starting to come back. um, Which I'm indifferent about. I'm excited that it's taking a little bit more of the market share for 80s nostalgia. I'm ready for that to be over. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Hootie and the Bullfish, no, ninth most uh, in-demand show for 2019. According to StubHub, the Rolling Stones have sold 52% more tickets than Queen and Lambert and more than Queen and McCartney combined. That's crazy. So it just goes to show you how in demand this, how number one, I mean, number one is ahead by several lengths in this particular list. 52% more tickets than the number two spot, Queen and Adam Lambert. So people are really, really looking forward to this no filter tour. Again, McCartney having, uh, Mick Jagger having to cancel because of the heart issues. And then him coming back, releasing that video of him dancing, and then the video of him playing guitar on the Stone song that we've never heard before. Really buzzing, really getting a lot of excitement in there. I think this one is going to be a sellout, which is awesome. Because if you remember a couple of years ago, they went out on the road and we talked about the fact that they were playing to some empty seats. And by the way, like I'm not trying to take anything away and slam the Stones. They were still, we're still talking about like 60,000 seat arenas. But there was a case where the last couple rows were were pretty empty on some of those uh, things. So, again, still superb and far greater than the rest, but losing a little bit of steam. I don't know if we're going to see those kinds of things come up this time around for the Rolling Stones.